see if you still fit in this. You got some winter fluff this winter. Yeah, you did. Got a little fluff this winter. Hey, Boxy, you ready to go to work? James, Eric, and I are meeting up at the Vermont Police Academy for a canine training day. It's the annual meeting where all the teams in Vermont and some teams from New Hampshire meet up and uh, do a training day. Stay. OK. Federal standards require 16 hours of training a month. We try and do actually double that. We like to train in all four seasons, and so our dogs are ready no matter what the season or what the weather. We work really closely with the Vermont Warden Service. They have a canine program that's very similar to ours. We all certify in pretty much the same aspects. It's good to have another conservation officer agency to, to work with. Walking my dog. Yeah. <laughs> There's a variety of agencies here, and they have a bunch of different stations set up today. Ruby would not do that. Think you can get her on your shoulder? Hell no. I'll be lucky to carry her like that. Ruby, 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 heel. There's a lot of different scenarios where you might need to carry your dog, whether the dog's injured or there's uh, something that's unsafe and the dog can't walk across and you have to pick her up to get her over it. So that's why we practice it. Uh, unfortunately, Ruby uh, doesn't like to be carried. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, calm down. <laughs> She's not going to let me do that. Come on, you got to make it. Got to make it. Just carry you like a baby. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Well, what's next? We went through a little bit of everything today, from tracking to obedience. Of course, stay. Stay. Ah! We even tried to do some stuff that the patrol dogs do and just try to relate it to how we would use it. How we doing today? Good. Any fish today or anything like that? Catch any fish? No, no. Search. These are going to be things we've hinted at with Moxie and, and done a little bit with her. I'm just going to try to use the foundations of obedience that Moxie has and uh, try to get those concrete out there on the field. Is that it under there? Is that it? Good girl. Good girl. So have you ever done scent boards before? Uh, not, not much. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's at any time you can do a different technique or a different feel for the dog, it just kind of makes them better in the long run. Yeah. And then I'm assuming when she was digging, she was just trying to get it, at it. Oh, yeah, OK, totally. yeah, 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 so. Yeah. Good job, Hawks. Where you go to work? Search. There's a lot of different stations here today. We're obviously focusing on the searching. Anybody can follow a, a track through the snow, but when it comes to a large group of tracks, our dogs are going to be able to pinpoint which track we're on, which person we're tracking. Roby, come on, back to work. And the wind picks up in the wintertime, so sometimes that can have an effect on the dog by spreading the scent out. Good girl, Rob. Good girl. Good girl, Rob. <laughs> How's it going? That was a good day. That was our last station, and she did really well. This is what she lives for. That Kong is uh, is why she's out here, just to make me happy and get to play with a Kong. We had highs and lows like we do every day. Good little bit of training this morning. All in all, happy. Uh, there's some things I could have done better and she could have done better on, but that's what training's all about. What do you think, Hon? You happy to train? Are you happy? Are you? Are you? OK. Yo. All of you were going at a speed that is over the speed limit. And, and then he was ticket. correct. I can give you all tickets if you want, you but. now because there's no evidence of it. No. Nope. How come you can give him a ticket? In Franklin, New Hampshire, conservation officers Kevin Bronson and Josiah Town handle an altercation with a father whose son was ticketed for speeding earlier in the day. He was uh, behind us. Exactly. I'm trying not to write your whole family citations. If it gets the point across that I can give the highest speed a citation and it keeps the speeds down, then I've done my job for the day. Yeah. But if uh, that's the case, you want me to give you all tickets to get the point across, well, I can. If you want to get the point across, you could have just, yeah. Could've just what? Just, that's the problem that everybody has. You know, I don't mind you guys doing your job. Yeah. At all. It kind of sounds like you do, though. No, I don't, because I don't think you did your job, because he is the last one in the line. That doesn't mean he can't be going faster than everyone else. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I mean, if I'm, if I'm falling behind and there's 200 yards in front of you, I could gun up to 80 and not pass you and then let off. And I'm sure he told, if he didn't tell you, he was going 66 miles an hour. I rode him for a speed less than that because it would be a $124 ticket. So I rode him a $74.40 ticket because he was nothing but a gentleman to me. And uh, I try to reciprocate. If you're being a gentleman to me, I'm going to be a gentleman to you. And I assumed his family was the same. So I asked him to tell everybody to keep the speeds down because the whole family was at a speed that was not safe. Well, you guys just wrecked our day and probably snowmobiling, so. Well, I'm sorry your speed wrecked your day. I'm just so used to it and numb to it. Um, I don't regret what I did. The kid was nothing but a gentleman to me, and because his dad is being a jerk doesn't mean I have to take it out on the kid. Classic one I hear all the time is, I'm not, I don't have a problem with you guys doing your job. Like, okay. You, this sounds like you do have a quintessential problem with what I'm doing out here. Whatever, people get mad. It's, it is what it is.